The Bible says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. Glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness or great darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you, and his glory shall be seen in you. Arise, shine, for your understanding and accurate interpretation of the prevailing circumstance has come. When did it come? Darkness covered the earth and what is Jesus' definition of gross darkness? The light in you is darkness. The definition of gross darkness or great darkness is when the light that is in men is darkness. Arise, shine for your understanding and accurate interpretation of the circumstance has come. That means God will not give you God's perspective concerning a circumstance so that you do not. So how you know that God expects you to arise is that you are sure that you are seeing the circumstance the way God is seeing it. So Caleb said, let us go up at once because we are able. Where was that understanding coming from? His light had come. The giants people saw and said, we cannot take the land. Were the same giants he saw. And he said, these guys are little bread draws. So let us go up at once. Let's arise now. That means the energy, listen to me. That means that you cannot see a matter the way God sees it and feel discouraged. Because together with the accurate interpretation of any matter from God's standpoint, is the energy so notice that the Bible didn't say arise and shine. He said arise shine. Because your arising is the same with your shining. You don't arise so that you can shine. Your arising is your shine. So arise, shine. Because your understanding and accurate interpretation of the circumstance has come. That means, hey, do you realize that the Bible says secret things belong to God? The things that are revealed are for us, are for our children. Right? Uh, uh, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter, the honor of kings to search it out. The Bible says, even the hidden mystery that had been hidden before the world began, but is now revealed unto our glory. There seems to be a direct correlation between understanding a circumstance and glory. In the three scriptures I just quoted, Esther, haven't you always been thinking, Arise, shine, for your light has come? It's like something just come, woof, ah! then. One sudden strength, we enter into you and stand up. That's something that we call Hua is understanding. So if you look at a nation like Nigeria and see how that the whole nation has become a bunch of slaves and God grants you access by light into true understanding of what is out of place, it means that when you rise up together with your rising, it's your shine. That means the absence of the energy to rise is the absence of light. In the context of Isaiah 60, what we say light is your understanding and accurate interpretation of the circumstances. Now you need to understand that understanding is not from the standpoint of intelligence. Understanding is from the standpoint of God's perspective. Because from the standpoint of intelligence, do you remember we said on Sunday that the only antidote against deception is this and what you want to ask yourself. See, don't read certain scriptures and be angry with the people in the scripture. You would just be putting judgment upon yourself. Don't you think that the 10 other people that came back and they said we cannot take the land. Don't you think that now when you read it, are you not angry enough to think let's turn these guys to death? How can you know the promises of God and act like that? But if you play the story of your life, you will see how many times you are standing in front of what God has promised you. But as far as you are concerned, this thing cannot be taken. And guess what? Israel's days in the wilderness prolonged because 10 people could not see the way God was saying. The longer the journey, the more renewed the strength in Caleb and Joshua. That means some people can be wasting other people's time in taking certain lands. Some people can be wasting other people's time. So God has decided we will all enter together. And you refuse to see what I see. We might travel another 40 years. And in those 40 years, the likelihood is that God will kill you in the wilderness. Because all the people who refuse to believe died in the wilderness. So out of the 12 people who went that day, only two made it to the promised land. Caleb said on the day they were to take the promised land, he said, give me this mountain. Don't be looking at me and interpreting me as an 85-year-old man. My strength remains in me as it was in the day when we came out of Egypt. 
or in the day when we went into spidey land that when the accurate interpretation and accurate understanding of the circumstance rises upon you the zeal of the lord god rises together with it and he keeps your zeal fresh no matter how long it takes until that thing is taken that's why people like me frustrate satan there's nothing you can do with us what we have believed we have believed we have chosen the prophetic word over this nation above and beyond the circumstances that people are analyzing. And the great darkness that sits in the people is the sign that your light has come. That anything you cannot solve is because light has not come. The moment light comes, solution comes with it. When God made man, there was an understanding and an accurate representation that God was looking for. John came and though John was close to that understanding john admitted i am not the fullness of that understanding jesus is the fullness of what god had in his mind when he taught about man that there was a standard they say right there was delight god called jesus delight meaning in the day we release jesus everything we have ever dreamt of to see every knowledge and intelligence that we put together when we were saying let man be formed when we saw jesus walking we saw all of it so john's work was to announce god is sending someone it is that one to whom you will come to believe in believing in him we accept both in our spirits and in our mind that this is our standard of living so we become that light that's why he said i am the light of the world then he said later so when you live in the world people should look at you and see what a man is supposed to do. everything in this kingdom is triggered by believing if you don't believe it you can never become it when you wake up in the morning when your neighbors see how you treat your wife they will register in their mind this is what a husband is supposed to be when they see you walking around and how you treat your children and how you relate with them they will know that means that there's a knowledge that hits people around you when they see the light as against the darkness. So somebody comes out and the way he's talking to his children is the way he talks to his children. Then he comes out and sees the way you are talking and relating with your children. Suddenly, boop, the light hits you. This is what it ought 